So about a month ago, I entered a contest that was run by XFM, which is uh, at ex.fm. It's a Chrome extension that lets you listen to music online, uh, scrabbles your music that you listen to on music blogs, and kind of gives you a iTunes-like view to that music that's available on the web. It's a, it's a great little extension, um, and you definitely want to check it out. But this was a great contest they were running. About a thousand people entered, and out of that thousand, I was lucky enough to have my tweet picked, and I uh, was able to get some good gear here, including two t-shirts. Uh, the first one is this gray one that you see here. Uh, there was also a darker gray kind of uh, asphalt color, I guess. But I've already worn that one, and that one's in the wash. The big item of the batch was this uh, Crossley Revolution portable turntable. And it's pretty sweet. It has a, it's first of all a small form factor, which you can see there. Uh, and uh, it comes with a USB out, which makes digitizing the vinyl pretty simple, as well as uh, being battery operated and transmits wirelessly. So I guess you could be really old school and put this in your car and, you know, leave your iPod at home and just use this to play your records while you're driving, because, you know, what could be safer than that? <laughs> but it's actually probably pretty cool for checking out um, record sales and going shopping in thrift stores and stuff like that if you want to preview records. And it's also good just because of its size if you're, if, uh, you're limited, limited on space. Uh, as you can see, I haven't even broken this box open yet, but I'm looking forward to trying this out. It's Pretty neat little device, I think. You can see some demo videos online on YouTube if you search around. And the final part of the prize was a hundred dollars in vinyl. So I sent along a couple of wish lists, and they did their best to hunt down what they could from local record stores. Uh, so I'll just give you a quick look through the stuff that I picked out and that they found. First three records are all Archie Shep records. I'm a huge Archie, Archie Shep fan, but there were a few pieces missing from my uh, collection, um, particularly the recent Impulse 180 gram uh, Virgin Vinyl re-releases. So uh, here I have Attica Blues, which was a great album from the early 70s. The title track is just scorching. It's, it's amazing. If you haven't heard it, be sure to check that out. Uh, the second one was probably one of my favorite Shep albums, which is Live in San Francisco, which was from the mid-60s, 66, I think, 67. Another 180-gram release. And lastly was the Archie Shep Mama Too Tight, which is another mid-60s album on 180-gram vinyl. Looking forward to trying all those out. This one I was really excited about. It's a uh, original pressing of... Impulse compilation called The New Wave in Jazz, which featured uh, Coltrane, Shep, uh, Albert Eiler, uh, and a number of others that you can see there listed on the cover. And this was, uh, this was recorded at the Village Gate in 1965, and it's just a great lineup of tracks. It's just really good stuff, and I don't think this one has been re-released on CD uh, or on vinyl since the original pressing. Um, uh, next, I got the uh, re-release of Shani Sharik, Black Woman, which is just a really uh, intense listen. Uh, Sharik is a guitar player, and uh, he comes from that kind of post-fire music era, and it's, it's just really uh, intense stuff. Definitely worth checking out if that's your type of thing. This was one I didn't even remember asking for, but I uh, assume I had it on my list, and it's really kind of cool. It's, it's uh, Daniel Tate, Mexican Hot Box is the name of the album. And it's just kind of some quirky electronica type stuff, down tempo, a little housey. Uh, but just good stuff. Kind of a neat listen. Good design too in the artwork. And lastly was the uh, Love Vampires and Meets Zola Jesus. This is just a very bizarre, kind of noisy, uh, creepy sounding album, uh, but I picked this up because it has last track on side B I had heard online. It is a really bizarre take on Don Penn's No No No, just a really interesting album, and especially for that track. Uh, so that was the vinyl that I got, all good stuff. So big ups to XFM, thanks for hooking me up with all the gear and the vinyl. Good stuff, and if you haven't 
tried their extension yet, you definitely want to.